One of my favorite Veritas memories is when we went to Nashville this summer. We decided that we were all going to start winking at this one kid, and his name was Dan. And it was going to be great because he was going to have no clue what was happening. And then everyone forgot to tell me that we weren't going to wink at him anymore. So <laughs> I winked at him. And he winked back, and for the rest of the week, he thought I liked him. <laughs> I'd have to say my favorite moment of Veritas is steal the bacon and getting demolished, or um, some of the serious talks we have, because it's really fun. You get to make a lot of friends, and you get to see people in an environment that you don't normally get to see in them. It always works for me, I got it to the bed. Maybe I'm going to... Well, keep your, keep your <laughs> Are you filming me? Yeah. Well, my favorite memory is more of a mission trip memory than a Veritas memory. But basically what happened was I went on the mission trip to Nashville, Tennessee, and it was really a lot of fun. What I did was I cleaned up apartments for people who were, you know, elderly or disabled and things like that. And, um... Some of the apartments I had to clean were, you know, pretty actually horrific. So, you know, my first day was rough, but on my second day, I cleaned the apartment of this lady named Blue, and she literally, like, brightened my day. She was, like, this 80-year-old cat lady, but she was, like, the most wonderful person. She had this, like, little black cat that, like, roamed around the apartment. And it was just the cutest thing, and I remember she, like, gave me a hug before I left, and, you know, that really just made me so happy to be there. Yeah. My favorite moment from Veritas was when we almost made Taylor pee her dress. What did you like about that moment? It was funny and it made me almost pee my pants. My favorite Veritas memory is one time during Catacombs when Eric Bauman ran into a wall. Uh, I wasn't actually there, <laughs> but the stories of it has always lived on in Veritas. And it's just a great story that's always told whenever funny stories are told. So this year we had the second annual MEAT, which is an acronym that stands for Men Eating Animals Together. And we got a Chick-fil-A chicken nugget tray, and it was the most beautiful thing I've ever laid eyes on. Also, we had like four containers of sample grade chicken, which is, it was level two. Uh, my favorite memory probably all happened like on mission trips. I remember one time we were in Rochester and our whole youth group was sitting in the cafeteria and uh, um, other youth groups were sitting um, at different tables and Luke Johnson like goes up to this one girl and like puts like two bowls over his ears and starts like murmuring himself <laughs> and and then he like scooted closer to her and just, she got really weirded out. I don't think she liked us very much, but that was really funny. And then of a more like serious like memory, um, when I went to Haiti, uh, I went to this one school called Paco, and it's a really, really poor um, school. And like when you go there, a bunch of kids like come up to you, want to shake your hand, want to give you hugs and stuff. And I shook this little girl's hand, and, she, and then she like ran away from me and like jumped up and down and started clapping to herself just because hi to her and I was just happy I could get that smile on her face. My favorite memory is when me, Ed, Jay, and Jeff went to Cowtastic and Moo Moo's on the same day and we found these spoons that really hurt and I got so paranoid I started to cry and I went to B to the fourth because I was so scared. That's Bruger's Bagel-ry. Bruger's Bagel-ry. No, Bruger's Bakery Bagels baked fresh. That's the four B's. Or, no, the B to the, B to the four. That's the story. <laughs> That's the story.